Hey Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of June 24th through the 30th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we are going to look at one card at a time. All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles with the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I kind of feel like with this Nine of Pentacles, some of you could be kind of feeling really confident about a decision that you're about to make. Kind of like some of you are preparing to maybe um, start a project, go after a new position, ask for a promotion. Um, it's kind of like you're getting ready to do something that requires confidence, but that's, you know, I mean, you've got that in the bag, right? There's no doubt about that. You're feeling really good about something. Now it's just a matter of um, kind of actually taking the action, right? Doing the thing, whatever it is that you're thinking of doing. This could be the week where that happens and now you feel finally ready for that. And now we have the King of Pentacles with the Page of Wands. So again, similar, I feel like with this King of Pentacles, this is confirmation that you're actually going to be where you want to be um, financially Whenever it is that you feel as though you're getting farther away from that, I feel like with the Page of Wands, the universe wants you to remember that you're always going to be searching for something until you realize that it's there. So I, I kind of think that, you know, when we think about abundance and money and all of these things that we need in our lives to feel a sense of comfort, stability, um, independence, sometimes, you know, we look for it and we look for it until we realize that certain things are there to help us achieve that. For some of you, it kind of feels like this week you're you're finding that, right? You're finding whatever it is that you think is going to get you there if you don't feel like you're already there, right? And for some of you, you could be genuinely getting a sense of, okay, I actually feel like, you know, we're getting somewhere. This is, this is feeling good. You know, this is looking good. Um, there's a, a sense of stability that is finally coming into place. But I feel like with this page of wands, you know, you're, you're not really looking for it anymore. You're just kind of finding it wherever it is, right? It's like you could be searching for something and, you know, now it's like you realize it's in this corner of your house and it's in that corner, right? Some of you could be genuinely thinking of ways to make passive income. Maybe you're starting to think, well, you know, I could always, you know, rebuild or I don't know, maybe I could refurbish this item or maybe I could sell that or I can create this, right? Some of your your creativity is really starting to ramp up to the point where you could be thinking of ways to make more money or bring more abundance into your life. Eight of Pentacles. Everything so far has been Pentacles, right? It's been about that um, abundance, that money, um, that tangible resource. I feel like with that Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands, some of you are no longer putting some resistance towards something that you have wanted or needed to get started on or work on. So this is kind of you saying enough is enough. I'm not going to put up any more excuses. I'm not going to let this stop me, right? I'm not going to let that thing or that person stop me from doing the work that I need to do. So some of you could be establishing some boundaries, which is totally fine because we need to do that if we feel that something is getting in the way. So with this eight of pentacles, I feel like this week you are just, you are on it, right? There's nothing to stop you from your focus and your determination, Right behind the Seven of Wands is the Ace of Cups. So some of you are also finally starting a passion project or doing something that you have a lot of passion for that maybe in the recent past or in the past in general hasn't seemed, it hasn't seemed possible enough and until now, right? You're starting to say, you know, why shouldn't I go after this? What, is, what exactly is stopping me? I feel like this is you really standing up to yourself and allowing you to put that into um you know, into reality, put that passion into something. Let's see what else we get here for you, Aquarius. Hierophant with the judgment at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like with that Hierophant, maybe you're connecting to a Taurus. I kind of feel like there is some sort of um, decision making going on. Like maybe you're going to have to make some sort of judgment call. Um, with the Hierophant, this is about, you know, your, your traditions, your beliefs, kind of like the wisdom that you've acquired along the way higher level thinking, higher level commitments. I feel like this could be about a serious decision. Um, with that judgment, we also have the eight of wands right behind it. So maybe you're receiving information this week that is going to allow you to make your best decision possible. So kind of wait on that. Um, let's see what else. 
we have the knight of cups with the three of cups at the bottom of the deck and right behind the three of cups is the tower and the six of cups so kind of feels like there could be someone coming towards you aquarius someone that maybe wants some sort of reconciliation you could even be hearing from a person that you thought wasn't going to reach out to you sometimes that happens where it's like oh my gosh i didn't think this person would ever talk to me again Something like that is what, what I'm getting here. So with that Knight of Cups, someone's slowly but surely going to reach out to you and maybe ask for, you know, a time or a moment to just speak. And with that Tower and the Six of Cups could be someone that you have a connection or a history with. Maybe something happened in the recent past that kind of disrupted that. Behind the Six of Cups is also the Five of Cups. So seems like there's still a lot of emotions or unresolved conflicts or feelings there that need to be addressed. And it kind of feels like that's what this person is looking for. Oh, here I am going back to the old ways. So instead of getting one card, we got two because I default mode. So we got four of cups and the tower, but I do feel like they maybe had to come out together for a reason. I feel like you could be overthinking about a situation or something that you're going to have to do soon. Kind of feels like maybe you're anticipating um, what it's going to be like, what you're going to have to do, how it's going to go. For some of you, you could be overthinking maybe a presentation, something related to your work, um, a, a meeting, something that, you know, you have to prepare for, you have to kind of, you know, maybe perform in a way. And I feel like with that tower, this could be something that is very important to you because of what it might do to open up new doors and new opportunities. So I feel like that four of cups is you genuinely, you're just, you know, you care about this, right? You want to do well, you want it to be okay. So I feel like this is about that. But we have the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. So I kind of feel like this is universe saying it's going to be a success. Don't overthink it too much to the point where you burn yourself out, right? You're going to be recognized behind the six of wands is the three of pentacles so i definitely feel like this could be related to work but i also feel like this is confirmation that you're going to receive that recognition someone is going to see the effort that you put in so overthinking a lot about this may not be you know worth it all right we have the knight of swords with the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck and behind the queen of cups is the four of wands so kind of feels like this is connected somehow to that knight of cups energy someone could be coming towards you kind of feel like with that knight of swords maybe someone has to or wants to communicate with you uh, maybe this is a different person or different situation entirely right maybe you've got two different things going on this week that stand out um, we have the knight of swords so it could be that someone is trying to maybe rush in um kind of like they could have something to say that is very important and i feel like with that queen of cups they could be needing your permission or your understanding or your empathy or maybe this is the other way around maybe you need to tell someone you're really hoping that they understand um so we'll we'll clarify that so first let's clarify the nine of pentacles that we got earlier All right, nine of wands. So it definitely feels like it has been a journey, right? But you are officially at this point where you are confident, you're ready to go. We have the hermit, which is Virgo, the page of swords and the ace of swords. I feel like you've had to prepare for something. Um, like you had to maybe study for it. You had to go through some sort of training. It kind of feels like you had to be in hermit mode while you were getting ready for this, right? You couldn't have any distractions. You couldn't have you know, anything to kind of get you out of your zone. And I feel like with that Ace of Swords, throughout this process, you've gained so much clarity, so much understanding, so much knowledge that yes, maybe you are a little bit exhausted and, you know, tired of thinking about it. But this is the universe confirming for you, Aquarius, that you are 100% ready to put this to the test. Whatever it is that you've been preparing for, you can apply it and expect to do, to pass it with flying colors. I mean, genuinely, you are ready. All right, let's clarify this. Um, let's clarify this Knight of Swords. Let's see what that's about. And we have the Star, which is you, Aquarius. So, let's see. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, which is Gemini, and the Two of Cups. I cannot make this up. 
All right, so this definitely confirms that someone is coming towards you. Someone wants your energy. Someone wants your time. Um, Aquarius, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of passion. There's a desire to make something work. I feel like with that Ten of Pentacles, some of you could have been in a maybe long distance relationship or maybe there was just something that happened in the recent past that you know kind of made you feel like this was just not going to happen but i feel like someone is going to surprise you because of the actions that they take i feel like this is going to be a complete transformation within a connection because someone maybe has finally you know realized how much this means to them but i kind of feel like you are literally the star in their life like you are their center of their world and they're finally going to do whatever it takes to prove that to you so this is a very beautiful week for you aquarius really love this for you Hope you take it all in, and if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.